Hi, I'm Jeff Putnam. I'm the CEO of Freedom by Design, and I'm so glad you've decided to take this course. I put this together and made it available here because I got so excited when they asked me to provide this content. Uh, we spent about a year and pulled together about $3 million uh, to make this study happen. And the research here is specifically for CEOs who really want to take their companies to the next level. And by putting it here and giving it in this, in this forum, in this format here, we're able to get this content to CEOs all around the world. The truth is, you know, they say that the CEO is a, is a lonely job. It's a lonely place to be up there. And I know that's true from having worked with hundreds of chief officers uh, over the last almost 20 years now. You know, there's just nobody that understands the challenge that the CEO faces. The, the research and the content you're about to experience actually came about originally as a result of all the frustrations and things I kept hearing from my clients from all around the country who really had a great vision for their company but spent so much of their time dealing with conflict, with people not understanding their vision or believing in it, uh, with them not understanding the strategy. And so it seemed like they spent so much of their time trying to get everybody rowing in the same direction there wasn't a whole lot of time for actually making that happen. So we spent a lot of time, this was literally a year project for me, putting this content together. And the basis of this is, is really understanding how do you identify simple, very simple, singular actions that you can take, singular decisions that you can make as the chief officer of your company and implement those to get instant, virtually instant, certainly rapid, and across multiple key metrics, major improvements. So the idea isn't to make you more busy, because I know you're busy enough, but to give you some strategies, a few little distinctions that can really just sort of tweak how you're doing what you do so that you can get your people performing better, attract better people to your company, get your projects not only understood but executed properly, and eliminate a lot of the headaches that, you know, that happen along the way that I know you're dealing with on a daily basis. So for instance, there was one uh, case study from Bank of America, fabulous, something that, that we uncovered, where one simple little adjustment, one little change that I'll talk about in the content, resulted in an 18% increase in employee engagement for them, a 23% productivity increase, and a 28% turnover reduction. Ultimately, what this meant, and this was over the course of a year, meant a $15 million cost savings to them year on year. There are several little case studies like that where you'll find just a, a simple distinction that you can implement as a CEO right away and start getting results. And then once you get through the content, if you're interested in getting some help implementing that or have questions about how it really relates specifically to your situation, your company, I am making myself available on a limited basis only to CEOs with very specific criteria, which you'll hear about later when you get through the program, for a private strategy session with me. And you'll see a link at the end that'll allow you to get access to my calendar if you meet those, those guidelines. But I work specifically with CEOs. I know that when you get through this content, it's, it's chopped up, so you don't have to consume it all at once. Uh, it'll move you, you know, from step by step. It's very logical and, and makes sense. I'm, I know you're going to enjoy this. When you get through it, if it seems like something you want to implement and you don't want another huge task, um, but you want some guidance maybe about how to do that, you'll have an opportunity to reach out to me. In the meantime, I hope you have a great time consuming this. Take lots of notes, and I'll be very excited to hear what you think.